Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake. And what we're going to make is Italian confetti sprinkled butter cookies. Now, if you are looking for other Italian cookies, I have several recipes on uh, my channel, so please check it out. Uh, this particular recipe uh, definitely is generally uh, made by hand. Uh, I like to actually use my uh, stand-up mixer and then finish off uh, by kneading it uh, by hand. So it, it's really up to you how you want to how you want to make this. Um, in my mixing bowl, what I'm going to start off with is two sticks of unsalted butter. And I went ahead and I cut it into little uh, pieces because I think it, it uh, creams and breaks up a lot faster that way. So I'm going to get that going. I'm also going to be putting in one cup of granulated sugar with the butter. So I'll just start beating that on medium high. putting in six eggs. I actually separated them in bowls because it's easier for me to get one at a time that way. But you will need six eggs. And put your um, next egg in once you can see that that one got combined very well. All right, that's the second one. I'm going to raise my speed a little bit. And there's the third. go in a little bit and bring the butter down into the sides here of the mixing bowl. Alright, let's put it back on. Now once you have those three in and they look like they're nice and smooth, I'm going to put my fourth one in. Raise my speed. Fifth one and the last one. And I'm just going to beat it on high. Now another reason I I wanted to beat it on high too is I want to move it along for the video. I just want to make sure everything's off the sides here and get to the bottom a little bit. Okay. Alright. I'm just going to let that run for a little bit. Now, what I went ahead and did, you're going to need uh, six cups of all-purpose flour. And I did sift it, so you want six cups of sifted flour. You're also going to be putting in um, two tablespoons of baking powder. Now I know someone might write in and say, two tablespoons, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. There are two tablespoons and I'm just going to stir that into the uh, flour. You're also going to be putting in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now the fun part starts because it's going to be a little bit difficult to incorporate six uh, cups of flour into this. So I'm going to grab a, uh, a spoon, one of my measuring scoops, and start putting that in. And you want to do it relatively slow. because it's, it is going to make a, uh, a dough here, uh, a cookie dough, of course. So I have to raise it up a little bit because I don't want the, the motor to struggle. And I want to put the rest of this 
flour in. And I'm going to turn it up. Because again, I don't want the, the motor to be uh, pushed to its limit. All right, that's the rest of the flour. And you want to just stay with it till it's really pretty well forms uh, the ball of the uh, of it, of the cookie dough. Okay, and this is where I now do the rest by hand. So I just want to get my paddle out of here. Top, you do want to sprinkle your all-purpose flour and anything that didn't get mixed in you know this is the time to make sure that it's that it's mixed now you can go ahead and use your clean hands and do this but I'm gonna still try to do a little bit here with my spatula Okay, and now I'm going to just take this cookie dough out onto my counter here and get this out. Okay, and if you leave a little bit behind, we're going to knead that all in, but get it out of your bowl. Get that all out. that aside. Now just bring the dough together and knead it with your hands. Now you don't have to knead, uh, knead it too long just till you see that um, the cookie dough becomes uh, that it, it looks smooth and it holds together quite nicely. So that shouldn't take you but a few minutes just to knead this. Now once that you knead it and you feel and you will see that the texture becomes very smooth, a bit elastic. Okay. Then what you'll want to do is just, you know, form a ball so the dough will look like this. Okay quite large, you can make a lot of cookies. And then you're going to place a bowl on top for 15 minutes to let that dough rest. So I'll put that on top of there. Now when you, after the 15 minutes, I just want to rinse my hands here, you'll want to cut the dough up. I have some um, on this wax paper to show you. It has been resting. And what you're going to do is you're going to take about a seven inch rope of cookie dough and about one and a half inches in diameter on your counter. And then on a lightly greased sheet then just make a spiral out of it and leave the very end of the spiral or the rope standing up and place them about a good um, two inches apart. So let's do just one more again. Now you can get anywhere from 40 to 48 cookies but you'll be able to see that once the dough rests, it'll really work with you quite nicely. So make again a seven inch rope on your countertop. And then just form it in the rope in a spiral and then leave the end and let it stand up in the center of the cookie. Now you're gonna put these cookies in for 350 degrees 
and they're going to take you anywhere from 10 to uh, 12 minutes. And when they come out and bake up, they will come out and look like this. They'll come out a beautiful golden brown on the bottom. They're an extremely light uh, cookie. They're great with a cup of coffee or tea or cappuccino, that type of thing. You can make them a little larger if you want. This one I made uh, just a little bit bigger. And what you do to finish them off is you actually make a sugar glaze of powdered sugar. You can use two cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons uh, plus one teaspoon of half and half or light cream and just have it combined and then have whatever color sprinkles that you like. And then I actually just dip the cookie into that frosting and then you can put whatever type of colored sprinkles or chocolate jimmies that you want on top that type of thing and then let them sit on a cooling tray or a rack till they harden. Now I have them to show you what they look like once they're finished and they do come out very very pretty and I again are showing you the different sizes if you want to make them uh, you want to get a little bit more out of the recipe make your cookies a little bit smaller or you can make them as large as this so you can see how pretty that these cookies come out and you can decorate them whatever you whatever you choose. So there you have it, Italian confetti sprinkled butter cookies. I hope you like this recipe and if you do leave a comment, I'd like to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.